Hey guys, so I'm here with another review from the Mandroid Build-A-Figure slash Winter Soldier wave from a couple years ago. And the next figure I'm going to be talking about is one that I really do like, uh, apart from a couple small things, and that is Baron Zemo. Now, he comes with uh, his sword which was necessary and I'm glad we got. And then this little, uh, I don't know guns very well, but I do recognize it as a Nazi-ish weapon. And that makes sense given his background. Um, but overall, I do like the figure. The one thing I will say is that I'm in the crowd that does not like these molded on guns that is awful for the purposes of what i plan to use them for it's kind of ridiculous to shoot stop motion with a character that might run out of ammunition or any number of things get in a fist fight and has weapons strapped to his chest that he just doesn't use pointless 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 Articulation's good, paint app is good, color scheme is good. He really pops on screen, which makes him great for using for creative purposes. I'm really excited to get him uh, on set and start filming with him. I think that he's going to make a great villain, both as the character and the way he looks. Overall, I think he's one of, if not the best, non-build-a-figure figures from this wave. I really do like him. And if you don't have him, I highly suggest picking him up. I picked him up for just over 30 bucks. I, I did pay a little bit above retail with shipping and everything for him. And I'm, I'm okay with that. He's, he's worth the extra few bucks if you haven't gotten him yet. Definitely recommend picking him up. So I'll see you guys next time.